Hi. <laughs> I just wanted to share something really, really inspiring um, that happened for me earlier today and something that I think is so affirming for all of us with like everything we do to step more into our truth, even when it's scary or even when it's like, why am I doing this? It doesn't feel like it makes sense. Um, I have this amazing woman who's been in my life for like seven years or something. Like many years back, I met her at this osteopathic medicine conference. And she was, I think, a speaker at it. I was a speaker at it. And she was just, we were just so aligned and had like this whole powwow of, we really inspired each other. And then over the years, and I've seen little things from her here and there, never really felt inspired. Like there's always a lot going on. So I never really felt inspired, like ding, ding, ding. Like I've got to hook up with her. Um, and it's been years and she's actually reached out to me a few times. And then last night, and it was while I was you know, going to bed, I'm kind of like looking through stuff, waiting to get tired, I guess. And I saw this message from her that I wouldn't have even seen. And it was like, ding, 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 ding. And I was so lit up to connect with her. And she sent me a link to a program that she created that she invited me to. And I was like, oh, I'm totally boom, 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 going forward with this. Didn't even look at too many. I didn't really understand fully what it was. I just knew like, oh yeah, this is of interest. And so then I'm like, I got to call her. And she had sent me her text. So today I called her and we had this amazing conversation. And one of the things she said was, um, yeah, I just like rearranged my whole life and like left my life behind and really stepped into like what I'm really here to do and made a bigger commitment. And she's like, it was kind of scary and uncertain, but left her the way she was doing her medical practice and like really stepped into a more authentic structure for what she's here to do. And I was like, you know what? I can feel it because I'm so lit up to like connect with you. It's, it's like when I've said before about putting the light in the lighthouse, like people can't even really see you and you don't know why, right? It's like, where's your light? Are you choosing your light? Because it will light you up. And then synchronicities come in, relationships come in, support comes in, like all kinds of stuff. So sometimes I, I've thought of it like this. It's like the only thing that could be missing in my life is more of me showing up in my life. So where am I living? Like kind of hiding or in a conclusion, like, oh no, I can't do that. I gotta keep doing this. And so I don't really show up to what the, the heart is inviting me to. Like, boom, call this person or boom, do it this way instead. But if we're not listening, it's like, what are you even talking about? Or, um, you know, and then we live in this life that's kind of empty and we're like, why aren't things happening for me? So it was amazing to like connect with her and, uh, you know, and now we're moving forward in this, this other thing together that I had created, um, that she's totally excited about. And it's like, wow, this just immediately huge spark kind of picking up where we had left off. But I, I, I just thought it would be really affirming for, for anyone who is kind of in that space of like, oh, I, I know I want to do it this way, but I, I kind of can't because that doesn't make sense. Or I know I want to do this, but oh, that, that won't work out for me and everything will fall apart. So I got to stay safe. And like any ways that seem big or small, that you're not really letting that inner self lead, that inner yes, that authentic self, um, just be willing to, to trust a little bit more like maybe this wisdom does know what it's doing. Maybe it does have so much in store for me that can come together. So um, I hope that was inspiring because I'm super inspired about, you know, just especially for other doctors too, like how much we can be in conclusion about what we're supposed to be up to in medicine versus like what the heart is calling us to. And this woman is very expansive mind. Like she's doing amazing things. So no doubt she's divinely guided. But like even those little ways where it's like step in more fully, follow more fully. She moved, like sold her house. <laughs> it was a pretty big deal. But but I think for all of us, there can be like little ways that we could do that more fully in, in every moment and every day. And and one of the things she reminded me too is like everything is happening. We just gotta breathe our way and settle in to meet it, to meet the awesomeness that's that's here. Look how beautiful this this surrounding is. This is where we live. It's just amazing here. It's so so precious and beautiful. Um, but even even coming here was like that divine spark of like boom 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 happened all at once. And I knew it was a yes. As soon as I heard about Durango, Colorado, it was like ding 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 ding. So start you know dropping in a little more a little more to presence so you can feel that 
d difference between like <clears throat> when it's not a fit <laughs> or when something is really inspiring you. And then you find courage, which is love, right? I love the life that my heart, you know, that my heart's desire is for this kind of life that feels a certain way or looks a certain way or certain kind of people in it. Find the love for that and you have courage or find the love for someone who's in your life and you have courage and then you're stronger than all the fear and all the doubt and all the stuff that can come up. So anyway, I wanted to share that and hope that inspires you. Melissa said, I just did this and left the hospital setting because my soul was begging to get out. You're such an inspiration, grateful for you and your mission. Oh, thank you, Melissa Rose. Yeah, that's another thing is like, oh, I shouldn't leave. You know, there's this structure and there's this institution and there's this system and we're sort of raised to think like the system is a real thing as, as far as like it's organic and it's the best and it's not, it's a construct and contrived business structure. Like nothing wrong with that, but when you feel like this is not organic for me, step out of it create something that is because it isn't the divine intention this is the medical field as it's really meant to be no this was someone's idea of a business concept that makes money off of people's illness right and never really brings them into health but that's the business structure so if you don't jive with that honor that the divinity in you knows there's something better for you there's something better for you to contribute to the world that's actually a win-win so don't be afraid if, it, if it's unseen or unknown or no one out there has created it for you and, and like you know you understand it already it's okay because when you step in willingly to that space of unknown things can open up for you and things can happen for you so that's oh that's awesome great courage there I would love Oh, I would love to hear your thoughts. It's too sunny. I can't even see what it says. To hear your thoughts uh, on dealing with infertility. Oh, sweet autumn. Well, it's kind of the same thing for everything else that I've I've shared. Your your whole system, every single cell, is listening to the space you're living from. Are you living from fear? Or are you living from truth? And open up to more possibilities right it's the same thing like a baby coming in a little miracle coming in your life is the same thing as like this this person coming into my life or her new business structure coming into her life your cells will open to allow something to be created um that is your for your highest when you surrender you know when you everything i spoke about yesterday in the mind body tv broadcast kind of really speaks to this surrender to the process and if that's what's in store for you, you'll come closer and closer and closer to it through letting go of attachment, through letting go of the clenching of make it happen. In fact, um, what was it that someone just said to me of, oh, um, what does it mean to hold space? Like her daughter's going through a hard time. And I said, could you hold space for that to be okay without kind of getting into control on your own? And she's like, what does it really mean to hold space? So I had to drop in, like, how would I explain this? So can I keep my heart open? instead of going into closure when it feels hard, when I get scared, when I don't know. Can I stay open and receptive instead of going into closure? So I, I had learned this a while back from one of my really great mentors, London Angel Winters, and she taught me this commitment to refrain, refrain from closure no matter what which is a really, really bold move. And like in a relationship, especially you get really triggered. What if I release, I am no longer willing to go into closure, no matter what, right? Cause closure is like, let me protect myself. Let me defend, let me attack the other person and make them wrong so they stop hurting me. Like what if I refuse to go into closure no matter what? I stay open, I stay receptive. And then I have to kind of remember the part of me that feels threatened by this is not the real me. The part who feels threatened by this is not me. And so then I can be more willing to stay in openness no matter what's happening, especially if it's something with your child, like for this woman, right? Her child was going through a really hard time and she wanted to like, ah, oh, you know? tense and clamp and control and make sure she understands this and that's not going to serve this it was teenage child it's going to do the opposite so yeah would i be unwilling to go into closure no matter what that's holding space for a higher possibility all right i love you guys well done well done staying open to higher possibilities even when it seems a little tricky or scary or uncertain or painful 
or like what the frick ever comes up with that. What is challenging your willingness to stay open, receptive, um, abundant, could be anything. But if you're unwilling to close, you, you win. You know, you win. And we all win. We all win. All right, lots of love. I'll see you soon.